Hello and welcome friends. In marginal costing, we have started solving a problem of sensitivity analysis. In the previous lecture, we discussed what should be the revised fixed cost to achieve the desired profit of rupees 150,000, which was only rupees 1 lakh or 100,000 during the last year. Now, another alternative with the management of the firm is to reduce the variable cost. How can they reduce the variable cost? That's another thing or that is the matter of management but if they want to decrease the variable cost by what amount per unit should we decrease the variable cost for their purpose first of all we have to find out the revised variable cost and then by comparing the revised variable cost with the existing one we can say that by what amount or by what rate we should decrease the variable cost so, but mind well, to decrease the variable cost, to decrease the fixed cost, they are the terms practically used, otherwise the costs are always or mainly influenced and determined by the external forces. But we can take some measures from our end to decrease the cost. So let us use the same formula, the sales quantity remains as it is, 50,000 units. The fixed cost remains as it is, rupees 4 lakh. Profit desired is 1 lakh 50,000 rupees. But if there will be change in the variable cost, the contribution per unit must change. So, contribution will be unchanged selling price of 25 minus the revised variable cost. Now, let us change the subject. It should be 25 minus revised variable cost equals to summation of these two 5,50,000 divided by 50,000. This 50,000 are units, this 5,50,000 are rupees. So it comes to 25 minus revised fixed variable cost equals to rupees 11 per unit. Now we know that this 25 you also per unit amount and revised variable cost will also be per unit amount. So 25 minus 11 will be the revised variable cost. So the revised variable cost comes to rupees 14 per unit. So now we can say that if the management succeeds in reducing the variable cost from rupees 15 to rupees 14 per unit. They can achieve the target profit of rupees 1,50,000 without changing the sales quantity or selling price for the fixed cost. So, a decrease of rupee 1, that is 15 minus 14 per unit, is required and we can reconcile that if we reduce or we succeed in reducing variable cost by rupee 1 and selling price remaining 25 without any change now the contribution per unit will increase from rupees 10 to rupees 11 number of units are 50,000 so increase of Contribution by rupee 1 per unit will increase the total contribution by rupees 50,000. Since there is no change in fixed cost, the total profit will also increase by rupees 50,000 and ultimately that will be existing 1 lakh plus increased 50,000, 1 lakh 50,000. That's it. Now in the next lecture, we are going to discuss if we want to change the sales quantity. That means we need to calculate the revised quantity of sales or required sales. Thank you.